it's great to be here with you. I'm telling you what, you bring calcium to those who need it for their backbone. For so long in Washington, when somebody had some liberal idea that we needed to throw money at, they would always add at the end, it's for the children. Oh. I'm telling you what, you know this or you wouldn't be here. You're right. What you're doing, what we're doing standing up against this incredibly excessive spending is truly for the children. Right? Now, if you dug a hole so deep that it would be tough to get out, is it helpful to keep digging even deeper? No! If you pay so much in taxes that you work for months each year to pay the government, does it help to add another several months to how much you work for the government? No! If everything the government controls takes longer, is less efficient, and is less caring about the consequences, do you really want the government handling your health care? No! If the federal government says you cannot stop it from spending more money, could you say, Yes, we can stop it. If the federal bureaucrats say you cannot stop us from sending jobs overseas because of how much we overregulate, what would you say? Yes, we can. If the EPA says you cannot breathe out carbon dioxide without our permission, what do you say? Yes, we can. When Democrats in the Senate and the White House say, you cannot stop us from hiring 18,000 more agents to control your lives, what do you say? Yes, we can! When the President says, you cannot stop me from creating a new President-controlled commissioned officer corps in my Obamacare bill, what do you say? Yes, we can! When the president stops playing golf long enough to say, we cannot say no to whatever the UN asks, what do you say? Yes, we can! When a president says, we cannot avoid helping those who want to destroy us, what do you say? Yes, we can! When a president by his action says, we cannot avoid hurting Israel, what do you say? Yes, we can! When a president says we can't avoid paying our enemies billions of dollars to drill in their country, what do you say? Yes, we can! Though the United States has more natural energy resources than any country in the world, but our president says you cannot use them, what do you say? Yes, we can! When a president says you cannot keep me from making your electricity costs skyrocket, what do you say? Yes, we can! When the president says you cannot keep me from giving away your tax dollars to my corporate buddies, what do you say? Yes, we can! When a president says, well, gee, Wall Street gave me four times more money than it contributed to my Republican opponent, so you cannot keep me from making them even richer. What do you say? Yes, we can! When the Democratic senators say, senators, did I say senators? The Democratic senators say, we only promised to cut spending so you would vote for us, but you can't force us to keep our promises. What do you say? Yes, we can! Let me read directly from the Republican pledge last fall. With common sense exceptions for seniors, veterans, and our troops, we will roll back government spending to pre-stimulus, pre-bailout levels. That's down to around 2.4 billion, you know, or trillion, right? Saving us at least 100 billion in the first year alone. That's what the pledge said. So there's no mistake. No. 
well. Yeah. It says we'll save at least $100 billion. You roll it back to pre-bailout, pre-stimulus levels, then it's more like a trillion and a half. So let me ask you, Fire can back. we keep that pledge? Yes, we yes. can. Yes, you Let me just tell you, if we, yeah, no kidding, we better. Because if we don't, we deserve to be thrown out of office. And let me tell you, for people who don't keep that pledge, you need to keep yours and throw us out of office, right? Can you do that? I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, if you will do that, we can save this country for our children and their children. And if we don't keep that pledge, it will be our fault and you get us out of here. Thank you. God bless you.